Hey there friends and welcome back to another quick Kajabi tutorial. My name is Rebecca Austin with Strive for Savvy and on this channel we talk about all things Kajabi, marketing and growing your online business. Now, one of the important things about growing an online business is that you need to be able to know what's going on. You need to have the data and the analytics. And by looking at our analytics, that's what gives us the information that we need to make solid decisions on various aspects of our business, but especially on our marketing decisions. So we want to know by looking at the analytics, how many people are coming to our pages, where they're going, how long they're staying on our site, what are the demographics of the person who's coming to our site. If we're looking at our funnels, where is the drop off? Where's some holes in the chain, so to speak? So by using Google Analytics with Kajabi, we can do that. And that's one of the big things that I always recommend is connecting Google Analytics with your Kajabi account. Now we've had a previous video that we talked a little bit more about connecting your Google Analytics and using Tag Manager to be able to have a better way of combining Google Analytics and connecting it and getting everything integrated. So if you haven't caught that video and you want to learn more about integrating with Kajabi, just be sure to click on that video. We'll have a link up here for you so that you can uh, reference to that video. Today though, I want to talk a little bit more about customizing your dashboard and setting up specific analytics that are more designed around an online knowledge commerce business and the information that you want to gather. And that's really important because Google Analytics is such a powerful tool. There's over a hundred different reports that we can run or that we can track inside Google Analytics. And it's designed for pretty much any and every website. Now for your website being more knowledge commerce, there are some different things that are really important to look at. So let's dive on in and take a look at our Google Analytics. So let me share my screen here and we'll get started. Uh, so this is just one of my um, my accounts to be able to give you some examples. And one of the things that you'll notice on this particular account is that um, the bounce rate, uh, so this is one of the things that we look at from our dashboard. This is just the, the main Google Analytics default dashboard that um, you get when you have your Google Analytics. Um, so this is, is some really great information we wanna look at. First of all, we want to, on this first, is kind of like an overview of some of the traffic that's been going on in the last seven days. Now you can change this from this drop down arrow and you can look at it from different time frames, including um, a custom time frame. But just to kind of get, if you're looking at this on a regular basis, which I do recommend that you do, especially on a weekly basis, it gives you a lot of information to see what's going on inside your site, as far as traffic, because with marketing especially, it's traffic leads conversions. So we wanna know what traffic sources are the most effective. So whatever we're doing to drive traffic to our site, Google Analytics is gonna give us that information. And, and that really is helpful when we're trying to make those kind of decisions of where do we wanna put more of our time and effort? Where do we wanna maybe invest more of our marketing dollars? All of those kind of things are really important when we're looking at growing our business. So that's where this is gonna give us a lot of information. So first of all, we can see right here up here that I can see um, that we had 93 users in the last seven days on this particular site. We had um, 110 sessions. So what that tells me is that some of those sessions or those users were repeats because um, a session is a time that uh, a person came to our site and they stayed at least for for a little bit of time. Um, after 30 minutes, it kind of pretty much cuts off as far as um, the cap on how long Google Analytics will measure a session. Um, but essentially, most of the time people are gonna stay that long anyway. Um, but if this is telling me then that we had 93 users, we had 110 sessions, so I've got some repeat visitors to my site, which is always a good thing. I'm always looking at increasing this number as much as possible and getting people back to, to, to not just come once, but to, to want to come back again. Bounce rate is one that can sometimes get a little confusing. This is a number that we want it to be as low as possible. Um, a bounce rate is gonna go, 100% bounce rate means that people came and left right away. 
So the longer that they spend, the, the lower your bounce rate's going to be. So we, we want to have, that tells me that the design of the website is pretty good because anything less than about a 70%-ish from what a lot of the industry standard talks about is a pretty good bounce rate. Um, so you're, what you're doing then is you're getting them to stay on your website longer. And so we want to incorporate strategies into your website that um, encourages a longer visit time. And that includes also then we have the, the, demo, the analytic here of session duration. So this is really a valuable one too to look at from an analytic standpoint because that's telling us on average about how long are people spending on your site. So a two and a half minute on this particular site is really good because that shows me that a lot of people then are coming and they're staying for a little while. There's good information here for um, for the visitor to want to spend a little extra time. So this is one analytic that's really powerful to help you look at your website strategy and see where you're going as far as your traffic and when they come, um, how many people are coming, how long they're spending, those kind of things. Now, another one that we want to look at really closely then is your acquisition. So this is telling us um, about um, how people are finding you. This is really important from a traffic source. So we wanna look at how people are getting to your site, which helps us with our marketing plan, as I said. So we have our direct, we have social, we have organic search, we have referral. And then as we start incorporating things like custom tagging or looking at your, um, your, your various tags to be, then have a specific funnels that will be tracked, or if you do a tag or if someone clicks off of an email, then all of those kind of tracking will be in here as well, which is really, really super powerful on seeing what kind of links are working, what traffic sources are working. And then of course down here would be what pages did they visit? This is also a really valuable um, analytic because then you can see, well, if there's a certain blog that's getting a lot of traffic, then that lets you know that that's a topic that you might wanna dive a little deeper into. Um, or if there's, for example, if we're like here that there's 20 out of the, the 93 page, um, or visitors, there were 20 page views to the store page. Well, that tells me then if I'm getting a lot of views to the store page, but I'm not getting the conversions, then I need to be looking at that store page to be able to increase my copy um, percentage or change my copy so that I can get a better conversion rate or maybe change the design a little bit or add another opt-in or something that needs to be changed on that particular page. Because if I'm not getting a conversion off of a page like a shop store, um, then that is telling me that there needs to be changes there. So those are some of the decisions that are really helpful. Another one that's really good to look at is the percentage on sessions by device. This is really helpful for me, for example, because um, on this particular site, I get almost 90% traditionally consistently are on desktop versus mobile. Now, tr um, across the board on your your global analytics or global statistics, they're gonna say that um, 80 plus percent typically are on mobile. And so this is helpful to know what your audience is doing and it helps then from a design perspective in Kajabi. So if the majority is on mobile, we definitely wanna be looking at the mobile design features and your mobile um, page loading speeds and your um, aspects that are very mobile friendly. On this particular site, it's primarily desktop. So we do have mobile visitors. I still want to pay attention to those kind of analytics, but it's it's 90 plus or uh, almost 90 percent, 80 plus percent uh, traditionally are on desktop. So my design elements and my page speeds, my SEO, and all those kind of things are designed more for desktop for this particular site. So that are some really great things that we can look at. Now down here, this one you may not see on your particular site if you haven't set up your goals yet. And if you're not familiar with goals, be sure to check out the video I did on um, setting up goals in Kajabi or in Google Analytics. This is super powerful because this is where you can actually tell Google Analytics what you want to track. So anytime that you're setting up a pipeline, we really want to then add those as a goal with the funnel pages in there so that Google Analytics is, t is tracking then your conversion rates and seeing whether or not you're co how you're doing on completing those 
those conversions. So for example, some of the goals that I have set up on this site are a session duration of three minutes or more. So I had actually 17 visitors this particular week that stayed longer than three minutes. That helps me on looking at my specific goals of getting people to stay longer and spending more time on my site. Uh, for my particular business, that's a really good thing. Um, then of course, there's different funnels that um, um, I'm getting ready to launch. And uh, sorry about that, um, getting ready to launch. And so uh, I set these funnels up ahead of time. So as soon as I launch that funnel, we'll have those analytics put together. And we do that down here under admin. And we go to, you have to be in the universal analytics view. And then we have over here under goals, and then we can set up our goals. So if you are not familiar with that feature, be sure to check out that video as well. Um, the other thing that we can do though, is we can create our own custom dashboards. So if there's specific analytics that are really important to you that you want to follow on a regular basis, you can create a custom dashboard here and this is one that I've created, which is a digital marketing dashboard, which gives me at a glance a lot of really good information. So this is my session duration again, like I talked about, um, unique page views. So we can say how many new visitors came to my site. Um, we can see then what our, our sources are as far as what my traffic sources on getting people to my website. Um, we can look at then countries of how, what countries of people that are visiting and then um, you know what pages um, people exited so this is a really good one to see okay so if they come to my site and then they go to several pages what are the pages then that they leave so this one is really helpful because this tells me which pages I want to make sure I put an exit pop-up because if I'm losing people on these pages as far as that's when they decide that they're gonna go off the site these we want to make sure we're getting that lead generation tool to say hey before you go here is my free offer kind of thing that way then i still have an opportunity of capturing that lead before they're gone so this is a really powerful one as well um, and then um, we have our new sessions by source so this is really helpful to see where that traffic is coming from from my marketing perspective so you just play around with this, set it up the way that you want to look at your Google Analytics because it's gonna help you incredibly powerful on making decisions in your business. If you're interested in more information about Google Analytics and diving deeper, we did put together a mini workshop that is on my website at striveforsavvy.com and then go to the shop store and you'll see all of the online courses we have available. And if you're watching this video in the month of April of 2021, this is my birthday month. So as a special gift to you for my birthday, I'm offering 50% off coupon code for any of my online courses. So that would be um, whether it's my digital CEO Pro Academy, the Kajabi Mentorship Program, or one of these deep dive mini courses, you can get 50% off by using the coupon code BIRTHDAY2021. So be sure to go to my website, striveforsavvy.com, tons of great resources, additional stuff there for you to help you in growing your online business. And I will look forward to see you on the website and be sure to take the quiz when you go to the website. We have a brand new strategy quiz to help let you know what the next strategy move is for you and your business and helping you grow. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you there.